I grew up on the crime side. What's happening guys, it's been a minute since uh, we were last here. Uh, back from my trip from England, had a hectic past two weeks, been super busy and stuff. Managed to cop a few pairs of shoes, took it, took a massive L on the Japan pack. But not to worry, I have people working on it, trying to find me some from somewhere, I don't know. I did cop these. Boom. Boom, the NMD R1 Shasiko, Shasiko, Shasika, Shasiko pack. I think that's how you pronounce it. People calling it the zebra pack, they're wrong. <laughs> so obviously we've got the boost here, all the way through, 100% boost. Boost, 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 boost. You've got the transparent, or icy, Go, uh, gum, so, uh, uh, icy sole. Uh, the bricks are actually like a a white grey colour. They're like a they're like a grey. They're grey. Grey bricks. God, the lighting is terrible. That's a bit better. Uh, so yeah, white bricks. I mean, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, grey bricks. Grey bricks. White base on the upper with black digitally glitched in into the upper. I really like it. I actually prefer this over the other version, which is black and black base with white digital digital glitched in it's a full pk upper like uh boost god said if you own a pair of nice kits or if you have ever felt them the upper is like just like that it's really really soft like it's not the same as it's beautiful it's so nice honestly it's the softest softest uh pk for sure tpu on the lace holes and one thing you notice, there is no stripes at all. No stripes. So usually they got the three stripes, her and right there. But nah, nothing. Adidas on the brick here, as per usual with the trefoil. Trefoil. Oh. Trefoil, you can kind of see there on the hill. PK collar. Windows for the boost. No inner sole, as per usual because it's an NMD. So I was looking at what Shasiko was, and apparently it literally means little stabs. It's a form of decorative reinforcement, stitching or functional embroidery. Traditionally, it's used to reinforce points of wear and tear uh, or to repair places, like worn places on fabrics. It's a Japanese technique, right? So yeah, so basically it's used to strengthen clothes and that sort of thing. So really, this shoe is probably going to last a little bit longer. The knit is going to last a little bit longer than other prime knit because of the technique of the the stitch. There's like a running stitch almost in loads of like little V's like this all the way up. If you stretch it out, I don't know if you can see there, but if you stretch it out, it's all little V's and then they're all like dipped in like this, like with circles. Yeah, it's mad. Read it up on um, the Google. Nice little nod to Japan there. I like it. So here you have it. Shisiko NMD R1. People are sleeping. Don't know why. Usually any shoe that comes out without the three stripes goes crazy. So time will tell. One of three out of the Shisiko pack. Uh, this is the NMD R1. There's two of these. So it's got the white with the black. Shisi code in and then you have the black with white shisi code in and then you have the cs2 black with white shisi code in um must 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 can't, can't believe they're still sitting their fire well in australia the the black with the white shisi glitched in has sold out pretty much everywhere but th these ones are sitting and i don't know why these are these are dope I think they're nicer and I prefer the, the grey white whatever bricks on them as opposed to the black bricks. Must cop shout out to Above the Clouds for always holding it down. Peace. I, I, I grew up on the crime side.